Hi guys, Coach Christo here. Making a highlight video is one of the most important things you'll do off the field to advance your career on it. Making a quality video can make a huge difference. And this is one thing that I see a lot of players get wrong. Almost every time I am sent a highlight video by a player, there are at least a handful of things that I tell them to change. I thought that I would make this video to help players make quality highlight videos that will open up doors for them. So stay tuned and we will go over everything you need to know to make a quality video. At the end of this video, I'll show you a full highlight video that I made recently for a player. Without a quality highlight video, you will struggle to get any decent trials at all. I have players message me all the time and I know other coaches do as well. I'm a great player. I just need a chance. Please help me. Without seeing you play in person, or at least seeing a highlight video, coaches at a decent level are not going to respond to this type of stuff. I'm sorry, they just won't. Maybe if your resume is very impressive, but the number of times that I've seen players lie on their resumes makes me very skeptical of them. A highlight video can't be faked as easily. Having a quality highlight video that you can send to coaches will open up doors for you. It probably won't get you signed, but it will get you in the door for a trial. And you can take it from there, especially if you've watched my video about succeeding at a trial. It's very important to put a photo of yourself and some basic information at the start of the video. Clips are great, but coaches want to know who you are, that you're on a team, what position you play, and where you're from before they start watching your clips. Hopefully you have a resume that you're sending as well, but it's still good to remind them of some basic information before the highlight video starts. It makes the video look more professional and makes it more watchable for a coach. Coaches don't want to just randomly watch clips. They want to watch a video that will show them the player that you are. Now this might seem pretty obvious, but please only include good clips. I know, I know, duh but I have never been sent a highlight video that did not have at least one clip that I told a player to delete. So what makes a good clip? Good decision-making and good execution. This means that if you have a clip of yourself dribbling past five players, but you don't actually accomplish anything or you should have done something else, don't include that clip. This is where a lot of players go wrong. They'll include a clip where they do something that is well executed, but was completely unnecessary. If you are unsure about a clip, do not include it. Make sure your clips are short and to the point. Don't include the full walk up to a penalty in a shootout, making the first clip of your video a minute and a half long. Yes, I have watched that video. Don't include a full minute of you celebrating a goal. I watched that one too. Show what you did in a play and then cut to the next clip. Of course, you also want to make it clear who you are in a clip. Freeze the video for a second, put a circle around yourself or an arrow. Make sure the coach will have no doubt whatsoever who they are supposed to be watching. At the end of the video, you should have an end screen telling the coach how to get in touch with you. If they've watched the whole thing, then they probably want to. So make it easy for them. Put it right there. Don't make them go looking for it. Put your email, maybe your phone number, and your LinkedIn profile name. If you don't have a LinkedIn yet, go make one. That's it for me. As always, if you need any help at all, just get in touch with me. And now into the full highlight video. Here we go.